Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Alternative Reality, the artistic alternative to traditional television. I'm your host, April Schindler, and tonight we have an incredible lineup of students who are in an intellectual pursuit for creativity that I'm going to be displaying here on the show. The theme tonight is parallel universes, and what's really interesting is that SUNY Oswego is notorious for their reputation for partying. However, there's almost a parallel universe or an alternative to the side of campus where students do a lot of good for the campus. I am really proud and honored to have a student tonight who has done so much for this community. Um, did you know that in SUNY Oswego, we have one of the first run nation's um, student ambulance corps? And did you also know that in order to be elected chief of SAVAC, you have to be certified as an ambulance driver and a certified EMT in order to be elected? Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce to you Sean Erb, chief of SAVAC. Welcome to the show. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So what do you think got you elected as chief? Uh, well, I'd like to think it's all the hard work I've put in. Um, I mean, I started just like everybody else did, and a lot of hard work got me to where I am now. So you're known as O1, right? Yes. So you're basically like in charge of everything, or all the operational aspects of Savex. So the the day to day running of the ambulance is more or less under my control. Um, there is a second entity to Savex, which is the board of directors, and uh, they're in charge of. You could, what you could call the business aspect of SAVAC. So how many hours a week do you volunteer? I've never actually counted it up. You've never counted it up? But um, like, do you work Mondays, Tuesdays? Do you work all week? I'm sure people are in touch with you all the time, right? Right now I work almost every day, uh, usually the 7 o'clock at night to the 11 o'clock uh, shift. However, I can do anything from all day to all night. So people can call you at any time to be in contact with you. Yep. So if a student has an emergency, they would dial, um, not 911, right, the campus police, extension 255, or is it just 555? Well, there's actually a couple different ways you can get a hold of us. Um, there's university police, which is extension 5555, mm -hmm. um, or the, the most direct route to us is... Uh, calling either 911 or 4000. Um, 312, 4000 from an on-campus phone will go to University Police, but if you call that from your cell phone, it'll go direct to the nine, directly to the 911 center. Do you only help and respond to students, or do you guys sometimes work in the community and help people who are in, in need in the community? Uh, SAVEC is uh, primarily responsible for EMS coverage on the SUNY Oswego campus. However, we do a lot of events in the county. Uh, we do standbys f uh, f up in Sandy Creek for the county fair. We do standbys here in Oswego for the annual Harbor Fest celebration, um, as well as assisting other ambulance agencies throughout the county whenever their resources are low. That's really amazing. This is, sounds like an incredible organization. Um, how did you guys form SAVAC? Not that you were there when it formed originally or anything. Uh, in 1971, Mary Walker Health Center uh, went from being a 24-hour operation to their current hours. A uh, bunch of students decided that there needed to be some other form of medical care on the campus when Mary Walker was closed. So the students decided this? The, yes, the students decided it. So the students got together, uh, formed SAVAC, got a, uh, a van that they, at the time, converted into an ambulance. They converted a van <laughs> into an ambulance. Um, the rules and regulations have become much stricter since then. Wow. <laughs> but uh, today we are fully licensed by the New York State uh, Health Department. Uh, we receive the same training as basic EMTs anywhere else in the state and our drivers have to go through a very rigorous driver training program. So um, what is probably the funniest thing that's happened on base? 
working in SAVAC for uh, four years, going on five now. Soon. Oh, there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of funny things that happen in base. We, uh, when you work with a, a group of people for a long time, you become kind of like a family. So it's like, um, so, it's a cool organization to get involved in because you guys get to know each other really well. Yeah, we get to know each other very well. Uh, we become very close friends and uh, even to the point where a couple of our members can finish each other's sentences. Wow, that's really neat. Yeah. So um, I'm sure you guys have some wild stories. <laughs> well, our base is cozy. Right. Um, we have a bunk room that the, the overnight crews sleep in, and we actually had one member that started having a dream in the middle of the night and actually fell off the top bunk. Really? <laughs> that must have been a painful landing. Um, Good thing you guys were there. Yeah, uh, somehow managed to catch himself and uh, didn't get hurt. But it, wow, it that's incredible. Provided a few laps. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so funny. So um, to wrap this up, would you recommend for people to volunteer? Do you guys need volunteers? We're always accepting volunteers. Uh, it, we accept volunteers from the day school starts in August to graduation. And we, we're constantly training new people. We're always accepting new people. We'd That's love amazing. to have them stop by. Thank you so much for coming on to this Thank set, you. Sean. What you guys do is incredible. I hope that people who are watching this do get inspired to join SABAC. And it sounds like an amazing organization. Thank you.